And so three days in, we were shooting this big group scene. Everyone left. And it was just this big scene with just me and Viola Davis. And I just remember, I just remember kind of pacing around, running my lines. And I just looked to the side and someone had just like set out our chairs. And there was just a chair that said Viola Davis, the chair next to it that said Alfred York. And I thought, ah, don't this up. <laughs> <laughs> It was a lot of pressure that I put on myself with everything, but specifically with the accent, because I'd never worked in an American accent before. I'd, you know, I'd, I'd like never even done one in like a student play or anything. I just like hadn't done it for like a couple of auditions and the auditions for that. So I was just like, I have to be on point. You know, I was like, it's not, I'm not doing it for English people. This is going to be on ABC and everyone else is American. And oh my gosh. And I could get recast. And blah, 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 blah. I was just, and it was this massive world. So I would be, I was like doing the accent work before I went out there on the flight. We'd been given this book as reading by the showrunner, Pete Noel. He would send us like these books just to help us and give us a sense of the world. And I was sitting there reading it aloud. Usually, uh, like, if like traveling for work, I think they flew me like business class. And I was like, usually I'm like, oh, exciting. I'll like get all the food and the free champagne. I'm, ter- and- I'm turning left on this plane. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That feeling of like, oh, and I'd like watch all the films. And stuff. <laughs> I just sat there with the book reading out loud in the American accent because I was just like that pranging out about getting it wrong and I would like go to sleep with the radio on and I mean just like that so it was like it was a lot of work that I wanted to do to prep for it and I wanted to do to feel like you know I could I could do a good job did you stay in in the accent throughout your whole time from getting on the plane to set everything yeah so that so that was the plan I had decided that would help me because I didn't, for two reasons, I didn't want the moment where I was like, <clears throat> how do I sound? You know, <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> like, I didn't want everyone to be like, oh, is he going to do it like that? You know, I didn't want those looks or anything if it sounded bad. So I wanted kind of to be used to it myself and for everyone to be used to it and not to have to have that awkward switch. The other thing was I just wanted to spend more time in the voice. So I wasn't ideally thinking about the accent at all then I could just play the scene especially shooting things you know it's not like a play where you do the scenes over a long period of time you get to know them and you you know you're you're kind of discovering the thing on the fly when you're shooting especially if you're shooting quickly so I thought that would really help so that was kind of my my thing with the accent but I remember I kept, I'd done it in the plane and I was reading out loud and I was like talking to the air hostess is like massively like self-consciously and then I um I got to the hotel. Was this I'd after you've of... been talking out, reading your book out loud? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's that English guy doing the bad American accent talking to himself? It was like, was oh, it like more champagne? I think you've had enough, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we pulled up in the car and I saw the first person I saw was Matt McGorry, um, who played a character called Asher and he had been on Orange is the New Black. And I'd like Googled everyone. So I knew, and we had sort of obviously knew that we were both in it and he was just like oh hi and I just went hello hi (laughs) I just like dropped the accent like I just was like I cannot and this is too awkward um but I ended up three days later I just like did the even more awkward thing of like suddenly switching and I just just like I'm gonna do it. it's gonna help me this is gonna be so awkward this morning but I'm gonna do it and I walked down and I was like hi everyone as you maybe can hear I'm doing the accent I'm gonna do this now and everyone was like all right I was just like god I look like such a no <laughs> but I basically just kept it up but it was all about just trying to be as prepared as I could yeah did you get did you get coaching in the accent or was it a case of where you where you started with one accent and then go from it so I, I always remember that there's always a thing where if you ever see a like a, a high school style play at an English school for some reason all the accents are really New York like almost like oh my god you know i'm really over the top because because i suppose because you know we're never really taught to do generic general american so yeah i think in terms of people doing really kind of over the top or like super distinctive accents to the like most intense degree that's in a way it's it's sort of easier to hear the differences and it's easier to do that you like mimic the most intense thing when you're like starting Mm. they they asked me specifically to do something that wasn't like um i'm remembering this right like 
very regionally like New York or like Southern or like they wanted something that sounded a bit more. And then so that would give them, I think, a bit of leeway about creating the backstory of the character and deciding where he was from and that kind of stuff, which they ultimately did later and maybe to some degree fitted it with the accent. But again, it was an accent that it could have been from many places. Do you know what I mean? It didn't have like strong regionalisms in that way. And I worked with the dialect coach in London, another dialect coach when shooting the pilot in Philadelphia and like a lot. And uh, I had another dialect coach who I worked with over the like, course of, this, of the time that I was on the show, who was amazing in LA where we, where we shot the thing. And she was brilliant. And I would basically just sort of check in with her at the beginning. And, and I would do that to the end of the thing. Mm. I'd been doing it for like three. And I would speak for seven months of the year in that accent i mean people didn't know how i sounded like in my sort of other life because to call it real life it feels <laughs> weird because like for three yeah. years i spoke more like that than i did like this so it was it was it, there was a bit of a trip Man, 